Break on bag will be us. Yes. Can I uh, make a perception check? Yep, go ahead. Nah, that is a five. Yeah. As you look in, you can see a blazing fire in the hearth. Give some scant warmth to the few huddled souls within. You see a barkeep, what looks to be three nomads, and a man sitting in the corner. Kiki hey. gets a bad feeling about this, but you know how people like do it that like wave their hand over their face from like top down to like put on another face, like get into character. She's gonna put on like a brave face and just walk in. Does anyone stealth. look like a Belmont in there? <laughs> oh, there's no Belmonts. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's a lot of guys with whips in here, though. It's kind of weird. Ah. Oh, it's that kind of bar. <laughs> yeah. You guys just leave all me right. here. I'll just come back in a couple hours. As but she's, she walks in like bar, she belongs. As you all enter the bar, the barkeep looks up at you all and then goes back to cleaning his glasses on the counter. The three nomads in the corner take a look at you, and the one who's facing towards you all keeps an eye while the other two return to their card game. The man in the corner, however, sees you, and in stark contrast to what seems to be the entire village, he invites you over to his corner and offers to pay for your drinks. That's suspicious. I, I open up with a uh, stun pop. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, no. roll the hit. I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm walking Is over. Oh, God. Man is going to hold back. You're all heading over then saying hello. Yep. I just I look at him. Uh, is he sitting down or standing? He is sitting down. I join him in the chair across from him, I guess, and... It is a six-seater table that he's at. This okay. I sit... rather empty. <laughs> I sit to the chair closest to him, then. <laughs> I look at him, welcome, and I nod Welcome, welcome! What's, uh, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm, uh... I'm from Neverwinter. I'm, a, I'm an outsider. I stumbled in here, and, uh... Seems like I got turned around, um... Oh, you didn't get turned around, lass. This is Barovia. If you're here, that's because the master wanted you here. The master? Mind uh, filling me in on who that is? Give me one moment. I hear my cat's messing with something and it sounds like wire. Oh, God. Uh oh. <laughs> Give me a sec. Take your time. No rush. Okay. Meanwhile, I don't hear anything and I'm just sitting there, keeping an okay. eye on Valos and the surroundings. They were playing with the back of one of my he space heaters. That's what the oh, plan was. Oh, Thankfully, it's, unplu it's unplugged and everything. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was sitting here saying, why am I hearing a twang? I don't have any sounds playing that it's doing that. Look over and there's a paw stuck to the back of the fucking space heater. Just twang, twang, twang. Hey, hey, Dad, <laughs> look at this. I'm making music. <laughs> look. It's let called me, Electro. Let me bring this up here. The man introduces himself as uh, do, 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 do. Ismark Koliana. Koliana, give me one sec. He Ismark. also laughingly refers him to himself as Ismark the Lesser. He must be the little brother. Yeah. He's Mark the Lesser. Who's the greater? He laughs as you uh, say this and says it's simply because he's been living in his father's shadow, who is the Burgermeister of Barovia here. Oh. Ah. Uh, Burgermeister. But he is more than willing to tell you of some facts. Now, you can all hear this for out of character reasons. So. Okay. I have many things to kick off for you. In Barovia, due to Strahd's influence and his pact with the Dark Powers, 
The souls of the dead are trapped as the souls of the living. They become <sighs> caught in the mist and cannot travel to the afterlife. When a humanoid who has been dead for at least a day returns to life either the way, way of spell or some supernatural means, it gains some sort of indefinite madness brought on by the realization that its spirit is trapped in Barovia, likely forever. Mm. He says it's due to this, there's quite a few undead that wander around causing trouble all throughout the land. But... Yes. Us Barovians are deeply invested in our homes and our traditions. Most folk you meet will be fairly wary of newcomers, even though any time there are new people here, we know you're not here by choice, sadly. Well, Does actually... Mina this where she's from? Where she's at? Yes. Mina comes in a little closer. She... Eastmark uh, situates himself on the table as he talks to you. He seems rather glad to talk to someone who isn't just acceptance of their lot here. Barovians, much like any other person, are made of flesh and blood. We are born, we live, we age and die. But, unfortunately, only about one in every ten of us have souls. As you, he stated before, when a being with a soul dies in Barovia, that soul is trapped in this domain until it's reincarnated or simply driven mad. Barovians who share the same soul over generations tend to look alike. Now, wow. however, the master Strahd needs loyal subjects to feed his ego. He is, after all, the master of this place. It wouldn't do well for him to be a master of an empty land. There are Barovians without souls that are created by his consciousness to fill out the local population. Most of them tend to be bereft of charm and imagination, the more compliant and depressed. You can pick them up pretty easy because they wear in pretty drab clothing, where most Barovians, like myself, who have a soul, tend to have some individuality or a splash of color. Oh. Okay, so basically like those uh, humanity-less husks in Dark Souls 1. Uh, actually, you know what I was getting at? If anyone's played it, uh, definitely uh, Fear and Hunger 2. Prevalent, I feel. <laughs> the vibe I'm getting. Everyone who's Moon Scorched. <laughs> He says, in this land, there's only humans and the uh, the Dusk Elves of the Valaki. That's about the only people here. We've heard stories of elves, dwarves, and half-orc adventurers. But like yourself, we only really see them if adventurers suddenly get pulled in here for the Master's Games. Hmm. He does point out some dangers of the current his homeland currently thinks to Strahd's influence. Anyone who attempts to leave the land chokes on fog. Those who don't end up dying and, well, get stuck in the endless cycle of either madness or reincarnation. This game that Strahd has been doing about drawing strangers in all over the years has been going on for a very, very long time. But all of them either die or disappear between uh, for long. And wolves, dire wolves, and werewolves themselves prowl the woods and hungry bats fill the skies at night. Oh, wow. Very great. <laughs> there are two other towns in the valley. The town of Valaki, which lies in the heart of valley, and the village of Kresg, which lies at the west end of the uh, valley and is built around an old abbey. Wine is the drink of choice in Barovia. We get our wine from the good old Wizard of Wines winery near Kresg. They make quite a few different uh, blends as he brings up his cup. You can see on the side of it, it says crushed, and then the rest seems smudged and out of sight. 
There's also apparently a mad wizard near Mount Baratok. He's apparently no friend of the vampires, but then again, he doesn't seem to be anyone's friends. Interesting. Okay. Take notes. He then, he then scoots over to you and points to the three nomads over in the corner. You see those three uh, colorful folk over there? Those are the Vistani, or Vistana if it's just one of them. As far as we know, the Vistani are real helpful, but whenever Strahd comes to play his games, they seem to be the only ones left unharmed. Hmm. Much like Suspicious. any other now mad, they seem to... Uh, nobody wants to really screw with them, mostly because of the fact that you'll end up cursed. Nobody wants a gypsy curse on them. People who... To say, I would like to ask now, Derek, who actually did you hand off that note to? Uh, I'd probably say either Mina or Kiki. Mina? I'll let them fight you know. <laughs> you know fight. that Ismark Kolyana... Koyana is what did the where was it? Marapata. One moment. I gotta bring up something before I get my info mixed up. Da -da -da -da. Because you would know from the letter that you found. There it is. That Ismark is the son of the Burgermaster, who is also the father of Koya. It... Hi, Kitty. I need my leg back. Please and thank you. <laughs> Stop <Aww>. clawing me. <laughs> Kitty's like, I'm the daddy. <laughs> That would mean the people mentioned in the letter you found, Ismark is the son of the Burgermaster and the brother of Irina Kolyana that was mentioned in the Burgermaster's letter that you found. I got that feeling. So, Mina is going to quietly slip, ask uh, Ismark about the slip and hands him the letter. As he, as he sees you pull out this letter, he grimaces a little as he reads through it. And let me bring it up here. Oh, hi, tiger. Kitty, kitty, come here. Okay. As Everyone's he kitties was reading them. the letter, he grimaces and says, uh, my old man sent out Dalvin Olensky to set up a letter for anybody coming in through the usual way that the master brings his newest toys in. Oh. I'm guessing he didn't make it if he's not with you, but the letter is. I'm sorry. It's pretty we brutal, sent, actually. We sent him out about a week ago. So I'm assuming by... I assumed halfway through he... Didn't make it through, but a scout, a would have, a scout would have more info on the party, but we don't know where a scout is right now. We apparently well, never do. Yourself. You spend more than one night on the woods, you're more than likely dead. Oh, a scout likes to uh, seemingly vanish very <laughs> often. While they're talking, could I just do an insight check? Like while he's telling everything, just I want to do an insight check on this guy, just see if Go he's ahead. genuine. Uh, eighteen. As far as you can tell, Ismark is very, very happy to see you and the rest of the party, but he also seems a little distraught. And from what you know of the letter, it seems his. 
sister is not doing very well at the moment. Give me an intelligence check real quick. Ooh. <laughs> Don't like Just those see holes. Can, Just let's see if you can uh, piece together some things. Nope, we got a six. <laughs> I will have Mina also do an intelligence check because she's there with you. Uh, okay. Oh, hit it. I'm going to also use guidance on myself if needed. All uh, right. Go ahead and do your guidance. One D four. That's a four. So nice. Nineteen total. Hell yeah. From everything you've heard, you realize that Irina Polyana has more than likely, from the notes and from the look on Ismark's face, has been attacked by a vampire more than once. From what you can guess, it's either a creature under Strahd's control or Strahd himself. He's more than likely distraught because at home is no protection for his sister who has already been marked by a vampire. Okay. Write that down. <laughs> I've been taking notes. <laughs> oh, you're going to need them. She's a little Take different than Domino. She's trying to pay attention. <laughs> Okay. I'm not very the... hurt take so bad. Neither am I. <laughs> I sucked at school when trying to take notes, so... Yeah. Let me put place? it this way. I have over 10 back-to-back -back pages of notes. And Damn. that's not even a half of the maps. Damn. There's gonna be some stuff. <laughs> I noticed that I probably should have uh, cast a gentle repose on that corpse earlier. Oh, there were chunk missing. No, 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 gentle repose to prevent it from he becoming was already a dead. Oh. Was already Too late right now. Back. I gotta pee really quick. Uh, so, Sorry. I'll be right back. So, so it can't become undead. It can. You have mean, to go back and check. I mean, can. Pieces of the corpse like stand up and become a ghoul, for example. Maybe. I should have casted radiance on it. I'm gonna say you didn't even know the body was there. I, I yeah okay yeah never mind then. Wait, where did he get the envelope then? Uh, gentle repose doesn't prevent it from becoming undead. But only for 10 days. It extends the how long it... Basically it puts it into like a stasis effect where the time it's dead doesn't count on the limit for spells such as raise dead, you know, things like that. Things that have a time limit where you have to raise someone at a certain time before they can't be raised. Uh -huh. e. It doesn't prevent them from becoming undead. It prevents them from rotting. Basically. Uh. Never mind, Sid. It's good yeah. for funerals. Does Radiance help against it, or does it only help against uh, standing back up again? I mean, if I cast Radiance like, uh, what is it called? Sacred Flame on the corpse, uh, can it become still a zombie? All you'd be doing is basically desecrating the corpse. Mm -hmm. I'm just asking. That sounds like Necromancer talk. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. What? I'm just not letting it go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't let it go. But it's okay, not about right, raising yeah. the corpse. It's about preventing it from getting raised. I don't know. No. So? But holy water that definitely helps, yes? Or only while the water is still wet. <laughs> uh, anywho. Yeah. 
So I mean, to chopping the body into millions of pieces works just as fine too. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> Never mind then. Well, yeah, if it has a generation, um, but. So, uh, is he done then with uh, explaining, or is he still going? Can things still happen while uh, you are uh, holding uh, a conversation, Paroquet? Hmm. Okay, I would like to roll for perception and look around again. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know if it's a safe moment for us to listen or if we still can get ambushed meanwhile. Mm -hmm. Almost at 20. Hey, 18. Hey, I, I'm on a. I'm. Nice. On a run here. You see nothing but rain, darkness, and hopelessness all around you. Yay. It looks depressing, I think. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing he's done then. <laughs> yeah. He does point out his own home, which is, if you look all the way to the south, is going to be the house with the blue X on it. Is it bigger? bigger. All the way to the south is the house with the big X. The blue X is the Burgermeister's mansion where his father and sister are. If you look to the northwest... The cross there is the church that holds the town graveyard. Oh. He does, however, mention not to be near the church near midnight. Oh. Mm -mm. Why? Mm. <laughs> Let me get over that. He says he doesn't want to talk about it for the sheer fact it's it's very, very disrespectful what Straw did. He does also mention, if you look back towards the east of town, with the red X, there seems to be a strange house. We said blue that dots. nobody's come in or out of. Okay. Oops. So, are the dead walking again inside the church? He sadly doesn't know anything about what's going on in the church since he stays in the tavern most of the time since they have a he cellar that they've been hiding in whenever things come falling around at night. Oh. What about that the rest of the family? Oh, go ahead. He's what? not sure who's left. He could check the houses and there might be some people, but again, if some monsters killed them, they're more than likely undead. Wait, do I really just enter the tavern unannounced? You may I have. I figured you were because you were talking to him. Yeah. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah. You need to move your, If you're going to talk with somebody, you need to be in the room with them. Okay. Fair. Yeah. It's okay. I vouch for you. You're fine. You can't be like half a, half a block away and try to have a conversation with yeah, yep. Suddenly, it. a dark robed figure stands in the door frame. Is may I enter? Ah, shit. May I enter? Minutes for the night's red. No, no, hold on. You are asking if you can enter an abode after I've already told you no. that I'm I am polite! To be no. entered into an area. <laughs> I'm a, I am Ismark, polite! I'm even Ismark taking... Ismark is going to hear this and go, uh, fuck that. No, 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 and no, he's no, going no, to, cool. He's going to jump down in the cellar, so is the barkeep, the Astani hey. are going to jump out the window and leave. They are not dealing with a vampire spawn this fucking <laughs> early in the day. But I'm even taking off my head and bowing. Ravale, oh, you have yes. on the map your witch hunter hat and robe on. Yes. All they see is a very hefty character with some spikes coming off him and glowing yes. red eyes. It's asking to enter the abode. Yes, and I'm politely <laughs> taking off my hat like everyone you does like and say vampire. hello. Oh. You look yeah. like a vampire. <laughs> oh! Minus going to give Eel a look of complete... Disappointment. It's the cellar what? door. What? <laughs> the cellar door is locked. I'm, I'm not going to try to yell through it. No, no, no. He's with 
He's okay. He's okay. He just he's a life cleric. I'm entering uninvited anyway. What did I yeah, do? Also, he entered. He he entered uninvited too. He, he's not following the rules of whatever. <laughs> there is it, it, no sound from the cellar. They are apparently ignoring anything you have to say now. You and they most certainly do not trust you after seeing a vampire walk in and you trying to vouch for them. Uh, <laughs> have any gun? I oh, was just have any gun oh, we, can, we can blow our way in and explain ourselves. Min, Min is just going to look at Rivali and end up looking at him like, I, I, Jesus one Christ. more time, I am going to make sure every attack Lands on you. <laughs> it's not oh, my fault. I have no charisma. Shish. Shish. So literally, <laughs> my charisma is minus I one. No, no. <laughs> no. These people have suffered enough for years, centuries even. And you do this? I just said hello. You said what are you looking at, May I enter? May I but this is just my working attire. Rivale, you yes. are in a big, heavy, concealing cloak with yes. a hat on that conceals your face. Yes. You're asking if you can enter an abode like a vampire, and you have glowing red eyes like a vampire. I was just polite. Well, I did make that witch hunter outfit, that hat for you, because you wanted it for merely cosmetic reasons, because it gives you nothing. I know. Thank it you. does not play in your favor here. Good, good job, Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> These people have Are you sure Darth Vader, not Darth Helmet? <laughs> I would like to take off my hat and helmet and say hello again. You know what? There's no it's one a little too late. There's no, no one there, there, there anymore. Is. They all saw the vampire at the door going, Can I come in? <laughs> and went, Nope. Out. <laughs> Why did you ask if you could come into a public area? It's okay. I walked in and I was fine. I am shy, okay? So well, I guess there goes getting information about the screaming, the crying. Look into my character text. background. I am shy. And I have no care. is going to grab Rivali's hair. She's going to grab his hair and pull him outside. Ow, ow. Uh, ow. 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 Oh, ow. that could not Help have me. gone off any no. better. Ow. I could not ow. have ow. 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 How is she so strong? How is she so strong? Ow. Ismark is just gleefully talking to some people that he hopes can help out with the problems they have. He looks up. There's a fucking vampire with him. Nope. Fuck can this. I come Ah, uh, this is yeah, one of Strahd's game. Yeah, got it. Ow. Oh, uh, uh, Strahd almost got me this time. <laughs> I am disappointed. No. Nobody here at all. Everybody's gone. The no barkeep no. ducked behind the bar. The Vistani jumped out for his... Because they've not been attacked by the dark spawn around the area. They're not going to test their luck either. And Eastmark has retreated down into the reinforced trap door to the cellar. So the barkeep's here. Like, he didn't go in the cellar. Why does no yeah, one ever like me? Bar, it, it, it's like, can I see behind the bar? You can. Okay, I like put my hands over. I'm like, I see him there and I'm like, look, please. No, you're looking behind the bar. I'll tell I'll you what up. you see. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. As you uh, look, you see another trap door. Fuck. Heavily reinforced. <laughs> Apparently they have multiple entrances into the cellar because honestly, having one entrance would be kind of a death funnel. So Jesus it's Christ. I kind of want to, if I was evil, I just put heavy shit on top of the doors right now out of being pissed, but uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you guys are off to a wonderful start. Yeah, that was awful. <laughs> There's no hope. We are, you know, we got to go with the mad wizard now. Fuck it. It's our only friend. Uh... I can't believe it was me this time with not Valus. Mina is just downright disappointed and annoyed at Kiki. You. 
Kiki just gives EL like that, like should have had a V8 slap on the head. Ow. Uh, if that's a spike, no, 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 I have spikes, no, 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 please don't do that, that's, that's stupid. Wherever there's no danger, you don't have spikes on your head. Oh, really? I don't? <laughs> no. Kiki, uh, Mina takes a look at Kiki, it's like, uh, you might have not vouched, should have not vouched for him. <laughs> look, look. What, what else do I do? Put him out to the wolves? I mean, they're going to see us traveling with him anyway. <laughs> Here's the thing. You shouldn't vouch for him, but you should could have just said he's an idiot sometimes. Oh, yeah, a yeah, dumb vampire. Better. Yeah, I was going to... I, I, I'm going to tell you Does something. Some... I, I, I don't... I do not think that we... No matter what we said, <laughs> nothing was going to make that better. That was a nope. wash as soon as, he, but, as soon as he walked in. That was a wash. Okay. Kiki, There's nothing we could have done. Keep an eye on him as well. Like I said, uh, I'm not going to hold your hand anymore. You got to keep track of your stuff. Because <laughs> I will. Probably would have had a better reaction had I walked in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Given the amount of strange people that's wandered through, yeah, you probably would have. In fact, you would have probably been new to him. Hmm. All right. Can't I just, tr up. Can't I just drink holy water in front of them? There's nobody there to show off to. Nope. <laughs> they are They've scared shitless. They went, nope, it's a vampire. Fuck off. All right. We we got to talk about the next building before we go into it. <laughs> Can I leave a gold coin as an excuse? No, you stay here. Stay in the carriage. You do not move anywhere. Okay. Can you take the gold coin for me? I and put it on this counter. You. If we, I, I think we can just convince him that he's okay. So long as you don't ask if you can enter in a public area. Uh, okay. I think we'll be okay. I, I think that's where the problem is. He's on my naughty list right now, so no. I would like <laughs> to enter your home, please. <laughs> your humble pub. Please, let me it's in. So it will be fine. We'll have a <laughs> grand time. I will have a grand time. I don't know about the rest of you. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> How many bloods got many ba blood, uh, blood bags on here? One blood bag. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right. Can you, Mina, can you ask them if they have garlic? You could. They probably do not have garlic. But let them ask. You stay here. I'm okay. disappointing in you. The people at the temple, back at the temple, said that politeness is always welcome. Kiki, Mena, and Derek, give me a perception check. But interesting, I look like a vampire, you say. A <sighs> 12. <laughs> Derek, you notice a man sneaking down the back here, across the street, while everybody's chatting with each other. The second alleyway? Yep. But interesting, I look like a vampire. Maybe we can yeah. use it to our Man, advantage. Thank you. Like, think about it. Yeah, I think we could actually use it. We could, when we're around vampires. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I he can did pretend. Not you a single bit. I can pretend. You see him run into this building look around himself, look up towards the street where he knows everybody else to be, last he saw, and quickly shuts the door behind him and you hear the sound of something heavy being slotted into place, like it's been barred from the inside. How many stories is this place? Ah, uh, give me one moment. Da 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 da. What number is this? Yeah, so Four. in case of emergency, I can pretend that you are my pets or something. <laughs> no, that's not my fetish. 
<laughs> no, not I, doing that. <laughs> for deceptive purposes, I... Derek, you see a wary-looking mansion that squats behind a rusting iron fence. You've bypassed that already, but the iron gates are twisted and torn right open and cast aside, one laying in the ground in a muddy puddle while the rest, while the other one swings lazily in the wind. Weeds choke the grounds in front of the manse and press with menace upon the house itself, yet against the walls, the growth has been tramped down to create a path all about the domain. Heavy claw markings have stripped the once beautiful finish off the walls. Great black marks tell of fires that have assailed the mansion. Not a pane nor a shard of glass stands in any windows. All the one windows are barred with planks, each one marked with stains of evil omen and horrid suffering. Give me a perception check. Seventeen. You see that all the paw prints and footprints are made by what seems to be humanoids and very large wolves. Mm. So like, your roll popping up. I hope Velos doesn't wake up and scream. That... What you gonna do, Derek? Okay. Just a single floor to this house? It is a single floor, yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna check around. Uh, where do these, uh, beaten paw prints look like they come from? Give me a nature check. Okay, nature... this... 20. Wow. Okay, give me a sec here. For some reason, your rolls aren't popping up in my game log. Hmm. Let's see if it's popping I up. I think it's BCM. It is. At least I see it. <laughs> Give me one second with the map here. I'm going to refresh it. Go for it. Just, yeah. It's popping I mean, up on the phone, but not on the actual map. Kaki, huh. uh, take meanwhile 10 poultices and uh, 10 holy water. Can everybody see the map? Yep, I can Let's see it. See. I can move. Uh, okay. yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out after we try the next place. <laughs> <laughs> take right, 10 poultices and 10 holy water, please. For your 20 nature check. Da -da -da -da. You can tell that these are dire wolves. And mm -hmm. from the bits and pieces of flesh still remaining in the footprints, you can tell whatever it was that was walking about was most certainly not living. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can I tell about where these footprints are coming from? Everywhere. Oh, there's, no, there's no oh, walls just... around the village. They simply just converge on this place from within and without the village and just tried their hardest to get in. All right. Kika, did you and take this it? outbuilding? What is that? It's an outdoor shed. You see stacks of lumber as well as some tools hanging on the inside. But the place itself has been trashed as if somebody thoroughly made sure that no one was hiding inside. All right. As far oh. as you can tell, every single door and window is barred, and the only way in safely and quietly would be through the front door. Hmm. Three chimneys. Hmm. Okay. Only two, which look to have smoke in them. Alrighty. Uh, 
Well, not much reason for me to really pursue it too much. I just know where he's gone. Fair enough. All right. Now, uh, what's the rest of the circus? What are the circus clowns doing? <laughs> you come back while riding on unicycles. Nina is keeping an eye on. Nina is keeping an eye on. Me. We I'm are looking, on I'm looking at all for the same horror theme. It's all in the islands and screeches. The, the thing. We're all just like the thing from it. <laughs> You're all doing the fucking Pennywise dance. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm just adding stuff to my uh, notes here. Sorry. Overdoing that while I was waiting. Yeah, just keep an eye on you. Uh, Kiki's walking over to the uh, to the mercantile. I mean, what uh, <laughs> we struck out once, surely we can't strike out twice, right? I mean, you can't. Somebody can help you. I was gonna say, I, <laughs> <laughs> we all can't strike out twice, right? <laughs> You'd think so. The door is shut, but it's not barred from what you can tell. I'm gonna oh see you late. This is omit oh, this. I knock and ask, may I enter? <laughs> no, I walk in. <laughs> I so would the like... door slams shut and she goes, fuck you. I would <laughs> like to walk up. <laughs> oh, no, the door opens fine. <laughs> I would like to look around and roll for perception again. You see nothing. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm you just have to ask every time you turn around. It's, I'm just uh, waltzing in. Yep. I As need to be careful. In, you see a single yes, human man sitting careful. behind a counter. He looks at you and gives a crooked grin and goes, Ah, oh, some new adventurers. So, what you buying? He kind of shoots him a crooked grin back and goes, Well, what are you selling in here? He shows you what he has for sale. What would you like to buy? I, I just want to take a general inventory of his, which is what he has in stock. I don't think I want to buy anything, but just like, is he like selling potions, items? Is it like a general store? He's selling some basic adventuring gear, like arrows, <laughs> some poke eye and such things. Bits hmm. and bobs that an adventurer might need. Cool. She uh, she saunters up to the counter and just says, hey, I just blew into town. Uh, I'm looking for um, just looking for information and uh, maybe a spot to stay at. He looks you up and down and goes, sadly, I don't sell either one of those. <sighs> and I, mean, I would charge for it, but I don't have that charge for what? If I did have a spot for you, I'd probably sell it. If I had any more info than what you could get by looking around, probably would too. Sad to say, I make sure to stay in the doors when night falls, so no. Okay, so night falls, find shelter is what you're telling me. Gotcha. Um, I guess I don't have it unless you wanna, I mean, do you hear that? Do you hear the, the sobbing? You mean Mad Mary? Yeah, Mad Mary. Who is she? Uh, that's that. You know, uh, been making a racket for nigh on a week now. She lost her little girl. She managed to keep her inside the house for as long as she could, but apparently the girl broke out, and now she's been inconsolable ever since. Let's see. Okay. I suppose uh, the good thing about her crying is it's uh, less things coming at my door and more at hers. Mm. Well, that's bad for her and fortunate for you, I'd say. Mm. Uh, tell me, I who are the who are some big players in town? People who I should get to know. Well, there's. He's Mark. He's usually at the tavern. There's uh, hmm. Father, Father, what was his name? Uh, ah, right. Father Donovich. He's at the uh, church north of here. Hmm. 
Bürgermeister, Bismarck, father. There's there is Koyana, the daughter, but she's you, she's been staying in the house after she's been played with by that vampire. Uh, Bürgermeister's that, daughter. Gotcha, master. And there's that uh, weird house on the east end of the fucking village. Mm -hmm. It's it's weird. It's been burned to the ground so many times, yet every morning, it's always back up. Really? Anyone going no. in and out of it that you've seen? Not by choice. And it's I, by certainly choice. I certainly wouldn't go in the damn thing. Has anyone anybody, tried? Anybody that's tried hasn't come back out, so I couldn't tell you. And like I said, I don't need my shot. Hmm. Okay. Um. What? I guess it's kind of a stupid one to ask, but I'm guessing a lot of people get abducted in the night here by monsters that pass through. How have some of you all survived? Hiding, hoping our neighbors get eaten, or worse, whatever it is they do to them. Most of us, like the tavern, have reinforced doors on everything, though. That won't last forever. Hmm. How about you? What do you do? I lock my door, drop the curtains, and drop the bars over the windows, and then I have a spot of tea. Ooh, there's tea. gotta be some there's gotta be something we can negotiate here. I'm looking for a place to bar up at night so I don't become chow. Do you is there something we can exchange? I don't have any room. There's me and my boy here, but that's about it. Well, and that's more than enough room right there. Mina. I mean, I don't mind sleeping on the floor. I don't think right. my crew would mind either, but we're protection. We're not defenseless. If, say, something happens to your defenses, As we're you in say here. This, he starts laughing, slaps his knee, looks at you and goes, you really believe that? You think you're the first ones to come through here? No. Draw the master Strahd's been doing this for hundreds of years. You ain't anything. You're the well, newest boy, and he just ain't started playing with you yet. I'd say strength in numbers. We stick together, we can <laughs> fend off. You strength in numbers. Tell you what, you say strength in numbers will save you. Go to the church at midnight and see what strength in numbers did for everyone else. How bad is it? <laughs> he starts laughing his ass off. This not yet another adventurer coming in, claiming to be a hero, save them. He does not believe a word you have to say. As far as he's concerned, you're just another straw toy and you'll be replaced by another soon enough. And there's nothing I can do to prove you wrong. He just laughs takes a tear out of his eye and says again go to the church at midnight you'll see what numbers do what does it even mean she crosses her arm and just looks up at the ceiling thinks for a moment i guess that'll be all then sir i might be back if i need something sure sure either way if you're dead or alive i'll be happy to take your coin she bids him adieu and starts walking out and just to save time that all gets exposition to everybody about Mary and uh, the church and all that like we've kind of gone over that already but tea. everything gets ex expositioned <gasps> yes and the tea <laughs> <A> bishop <gasps> what does that even mean strength in numbers well I mean we can ask Getting towards the afternoon now, as you've all been investigating and looking around. Well, there is a pr there is a father oh. in town, a man of the cloth. We can maybe lean on him a little bit for information. Maybe he can give a sanctuary. He's alive. Mm. I mean, if, from what I'm understanding is we probably should find shelter and pretty quickly because those without shelter kind of get the claw treatment around here. Yes, please. Hey, Kari. Uh, 
But oh. didn't Bismarck say beware of the church at midnight? It's not midnight yet, is it? Nope, it's no. about afternoon. So we can so have a peek to go to church. Mm hmm. How the fire? I will seems... allow the vampire to <laughs> take off his freaking mask and robe. Can I oh. will allow him to talk with one, the fire. One moment, Shadow. Okay. As you uh, were looking around the shop, you recognize a few things, Saren, or Kiki. Huh? <laughs> The, he sells the basic things for most adventurers, but you realized there's a price difference. Let's say you wanted to buy, say, back in Neverwinter, some arrows. At least 20 of them, it cost you a gold piece. Here, it costs you 10 gold pieces. Mm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Capitalism. <laughs> So if we got to feed somebody to the monsters, let's hit the mercantile up. <laughs> I can feed some good babies. I mean, it, I don't think we want to heal what's trying to kill us. After I drunk them in water, holy water. I don't want to kill the big scary wolf. I want to be his friend. <laughs> I love him. Look, he likes my attire. He thinks I'm a vampire. He's trying to eat me. Fucking kill him. <laughs> Get him off. <laughs> Spikes oh, to you, look. No. <laughs> but it's just a puppy! All right, what are you all doing now? Uh, I would like to park my carriage somewhere. Give uh, me a... a perception check. Hey, 20, let's go! As far as you can tell, considering how close all the village buildings seem to be, the only options you have are either the mansion of the Burgermeister, which might not be the safest place now, considering you've outed yourself as a probable vampire, or the church, which might be better to stay in since it's holy ground and you'd be able to see what all this talk of midnight wonder is. I know what I was thinking of. We check out the hey, church, see if Father. I mean. Red. Can undead be inside the church, or does he mean strength and numbers outside the church of the graveyard? I mean, I, I was going to go ask the father that, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, I don't have a lot of information. Him. I mean, I, I had the idea to get into the shop and ask him if that, he, but the father you, also uh, works. Keep an eye on Eel. By the way, I mean, Mina, <laughs> I need to pee. <laughs> You won't have to ask me. Go somewhere. It has been a long road, with... okay? Do you, like, need help with your zipper? Why are you telling her that? Because she's <laughs> looking out for me. For some reason. She's I'm not looking, looking out for you. She's keeping you in check. Yeah, she's that's what I mean. You in check. Yes, mama. That doesn't mean you can't go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, I get big in. <laughs> Mom, I need to use the toilet. <laughs> honestly, for a second. Uh, honestly, honestly, Mena, he seems like he respects you more than me. I'm the junior of this of this little club you have going on. So, all right, I'm I think you wield it. Watch it, but in front of Kiki. Do you step right, out. What are you doing? Get in front of Kiki and walk towards the chair. I'm Derek, what are you doing? Uh, they, they want to go towards the church, right? Yep. Mm. I mean, you can speak. Uh -huh. up. You can come up to us and speak up. You can't speak. You can tell us you exist. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all Prokiki knows is you're a maverick. Here. Halted. Over All here, right. to the mm -hmm. left of the carriage in that small little building is seems to be a safe enough stable to put your carriage for the mm -hmm. night. 
And okay. Dominic uh, did that. Valis is a still <laughs> Yep. And what are you doing, Derek? Uh. I'm going to knock on the door. All right. Uh, Wait, were you talking about me? What are you saying? As a vampire. Uh, I seek to speak with the Burgermeister. You hear a female voice answer back. Who are you? I am Derek. And why should I let you in? I didn't ask to come in, I asked to speak. The Burgermeister's not available at the moment. Hmm. I'm just curious as to what I need to look out for while I find my way in this land. You're an adventurer? That I be. There's going to be a small little slot on the door open. And you're going to see somebody looking through. As soon as you see them, the slot closes and they disappear from view. You can hear some mumbling from the other side of the door. I can't believe that David looks less scary than me. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. I mind you, you look like freaking Sauron. I'm sorry. <laughs> you look like literally copy paste of a vampire. <laughs> and but you also yeah. did say. May I enter? I was polite. This is a it's tavern, a not a freaking private. But I'm shy. It's a pub. Right. Everyone's drunk and no one's polite. <laughs> Would you uh, like to try and listen in on this conversation, Derek, since you can hear the mumbling? Yeah, sure. Uh, you want perception? Yep. 20. As you put your ear up against the door, you can hear a male and female voice arguing back and forth. The man is saying that he didn't see the person outside with the vampire that appeared at the tavern with the group he was talking to. The female voice is arguing back that just because he didn't see them with them doesn't mean they are with them or aren't with them. And this is going back and forth in this fashion. The slot on the door is going to open up and the man is going to look out and stare at you and ask, what are you? I am Derek. Mm. I'm not asking who you are, I'm asking what you are. I've not seen something like you. Mm. Derek is of the lizard folk. I see. Although and he's, Derek is of a clan of two. You're going to see a vegetable get dropped out the slot at your feet. Onto the doorstop, thankfully not into the muddy ground. And the man is going to stare at you and say, take a bite. And you see him holding a cross at you. A rudimentary religious icon. As if to ward you away, just in case. Hmm. Soft skin, so particular. So I'm an atheist. Ha, ha, ha. All right. There will Sorry. reach down while keeping an eye on him because hmm, just being wary of any potential attack and pick up this vegetable. Would you like to identify it? Yes. Nature check. It's garlic. 23. It is indeed garlic. <gasps> yeah! I smelt it. As soon as I heard the cross, I'm like, yeah, that's garlic. 
<laughs> to say if you're not, yeah. I'm going to say this now. If you're not within something that I'm talking with a character about, keep the sidebar to a minimum, please, so we can focus on it. Yes. <laughs> All right. What are you going to do with it now, Derek? I will sniff at it. Enjoy the scent of it, because garlic is a wonderful herb. Flip. Pull out a clove and start snacking. The man is staring at you with his eyes up in surprise. You enjoyed that? Oh, yes. It is a very... I love the tangy flavor. Huh. He looks over his eyes away as from you. Me, and so. You can see him shrugging his shoulders as if he's pointing at you in, in a motion that says, Well, there you go. You're going to see the door open and a woman open it up, looks you up and down, and tells you to get in. Don't mind if I do. As you enter in and they shut the door behind you, you see the interior of the mansion is well furnished, yet the frictures themselves show signs of great wear. Obviously, the oddities to any home would be all the boarded-up windows and the presence of holy symbols in every room on every wall. You can see a rather old man lying in a room to the side on the floor, lying in a simple wooden coffin surrounded by wilting flowers and a faint odor of decay. It would seem the Burgermaster is no longer amongst the living. Yep, I ain't going to talk to him. <laughs> the man and woman, you know them to be, to say, did the other characters tell you their name? Uh, I was listening in. So you'd know the man is called Ismark. Mm -hmm. You, however, do not know the name of the woman. As you enter in, the two turn to you, look you up and down and go, why are you here? Why do you need to speak to our father? Well, I guess he was someone of importance, since I hear talk of your family often. Um, this We found a body outside of town mentioning your family. As you say this, and say we, Ismark looks at you and goes, Were you with the group at the tavern? Which group would that be? The one with the vampire? I know of no vampire. Just because you don't know of one doesn't mean there is one. The only vampire I've heard talk of is this one called Strad. As you say his name, a grimace crosses against the woman's face and across the man's and he looks you up and down, nods slowly and looks away a little bit. The one you probably talked to is... He is not the brightest. This way, <gasps> all the light he uses. You're not here, Rivale. I know. For some reason, he seems to dress in a way that does not befit what he's supposed to be. <laughs> And I what know, is he I supposed do. to be? Some sort of cleric of life. He's I've smart. seen him work, but... Just deadpan stares at you. Just complete look of, are you fucking serious? As he questions... I question, his he... mo I question him many times. But and he asks, I am was simple. it the man in the big cloak with the glowing red eyes asking if he could enter the abode. Yeah, that's that's the idiot. Trust me, he that was not, not a cleric. What the fuck? <laughs> I just go by what I've seen, what, he, what I've been told. No, he's not a vampire. Believe me, Irina I would be willing you. to shove the clove into him, uh, gar clove into him to show, although he might not appreciate it. 
Bismarck looks at you with his arms crossed. I don't care if he doesn't appreciate it. We sure as fuck didn't appreciate a vampire apparently popping up on the doorstep of one of the safe havens we have left in town. Yes. Uh, Irina like looks at you and goes, well, at least they have some kind of holy man. Maybe they can help us. But, um, yeah, um, I, I am just a simple lizard folk, which you soft skins do often confuse me. Despite, mo despite, despite, uh, my clan being what it is, I am still often confused. That's, the man nods his head. Yeah, that's, that's fair. People are confusing no matter what. But we do need your help with two things. As I said to the rest of your group, he gestures to the woman next to him. This is Irina Koyana, my sister. And she's been attacked by a vampire twice. He gestures to the man's body sitting in the room to the side, and that's our father. His, uh, fortunately, his heart gave out about three days ago in the midst of one of the attacks. What we would like to do before we're attacked before, by a vampire again, I would like us to get to Valaki, which is apparently the the city in the middle of the valley, obviously, but apparently they actually have walls, which we don't. And less problems, which we don't. However, as he looks his head over at his sister, someone wants us to take our father to the graveyard before we go. The woman goes to argue with him. He holds up a hand and says, I know, but... I'm willing to do this, we just need to be quick before night falls and worse things happen. And he gestures outside, and as you can see, it's getting dark out. Yes, I gather from the footprints around that not pleasant at night here. Oh, apparently oh, dire not. wolves and I'm dead. Yeah, lovely chaps. Thankfully didn't stay. No. Well, no, are you we can, willing to help us? We can help. Yeah, at least I hope we can. All right. We... Is Mark going to go by you and start prepping his father's body for travel? Okay. Anything else you'd like to say? He is still within earshot. What can you tell me of the crying coming from the house down the street? Ismark looks up at you and looks over to Irene and nods his head as if to tell her to say the story while he's doing his work. Irina looks over at you and says that would be good old Mad Mary who managed to keep her daughter safe for weeks on end. Unfortunately, the daft girl managed to break out of her home and hasn't been found for at least a week now, and Mary's been inconsolable. We managed to board up her house for her, but with all the noise she's making, there's not really much we can do for her. Yes. Well, I can understand the want for freedom can override. Hence. Especially true. in young ones. Very true. Are you... Do you have any more questions for them? Oh, hello. Um, what do you know of werewolves? Hi. 
Ismark has his father's coffin ready for travel, cured to his back to carry, and he looks up at you and goes, eh, that's the tricky thing. We don't know much about them. We know they can be people and werewolves, but you can't really tell what's what. One of them might be having a drink with you. One of them might be eating you in the forest, like lots of people. It's one of those things you don't really find out till it's too late. Now lay down. Lay down, yes, I know. I prefer not to. <laughs> yeah. as, you're, as you're rubbing his stomach. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Just go lay down. Like, no. First to do with the glowing eyes. Now this. Oh, God. I'd much rather this, though. This is nicer. Don't worry. Just assume the position. Just try to not to walk on the keyboard. Fair enough. But they are ready to head out whenever you are. All right. This time, I guess I won't disappear from you because they kind of need to follow me. Yep. I got to keep moving my map in then. Yep. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Uh, okay, they went this way. Am I still inside the carriage or am I standing around the corner peeing? That's how I did that. Uh -huh. Hopefully I fixed your idiocy. Well, considering Rivoli's not wearing his vampire getup anymore, yes. This, uh, this is the idiot points at uh, Eel. Well, go what? ahead and keep Valus there. For all intents and purposes, he'll be safe for the night, but he'll be <laughs> keeping watch with the carriage. Huh? Well, you all see um... Derek come walking up with a woman and Ismark carrying a coffin on his back. Well, hello Ismark's there. Going to, Ismark's going to take a break and oh. rest the coffin on the ground. Oh, we need to have a chat with Fana Donovich about properly interring our old man. And he's going to crack his back. Oh, would you mind all going in and checking on him. We haven't actually heard anything from him in about a week. And I'm a frankly, cleric, I can how... help out. One moment. Given how quiet the rest of the village is gone, we're not actually sure if he's still here. Uh, yeah, but first, I would like for our uh, cleric to actually give an apology to you. What? <laughs> Why? What? Apologize, or I'm going to break your arm. <laughs> and this is coming from a pixie. <laughs> Please, apolo apologize. To whom? To Ismark for scaring the living daylights out of him. Oh, that was you. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to scare you. I, I meant to be polite. I'm not good with people. I'm sorry. And, and the, the, the eyes that was my witch hunter had. Especially because of the vampires. I thought that would be fitting attire, but I guess not. And the rope is just for protecting the armor from from hot weather and from dirt. If I polish it one day. As he's resting, Ismark is going to look over at you and go, Maybe next time don't be a heavily obscured person with glowing red eyes asking to enter homes. It... Might seem polite, it's not going to be here. Fair but enough. Thank you for the apology anyway. Would you like a good uh, berry? Or holy what? water? Or a poultice? Or a blessing? I'll, I'll take some holy water, fuck yeah. Oh, thank if you. you want, I can give you a bottle or two or more. You know what? <laughs> You're forgiven. You have holy water. We'll take it. Fuck. Should okay, how much? Uh, for now, Bring just hold on to it, because he's holding on to his dad's coffin right now. Kiki, uh, Mina whispers to Kiki, should we just go ahead and go in and check on him? Yeah, well, they're patching it up. Seems like we're all good, so... All right, I okay. am going to move you all to a new map here. Okay. Ah, da, boop. Oh. 
Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, so <there are> two <laughs> levels. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah. right, Valus is with the carriage. There you go. Uh, what does the right side say under under the church? Area. Yeah, besides area. Area uh, E5. Yep, that's E5. That would be for my own uh, map keeping records. Uh, uh, that helps okay. keep track of what we what's in that area. Ah, basement. Yep. Okay. Basically, I have hundreds of maps to keep track of, so they're by numbered. Uh, letters. Ah, area E5, okay. Yep. Let me guess, the castle is area 51? It's area 1 through 100. Oh. And more. Oh. <laughs> castle's a big place. Damn. <laughs> the castle's got an entire mountain to it. Jesus. It's a proper you castle. Have today. All right. You are all in front of the church. Well, I say one clergyman talks to another clergyman. She From, pats EL uh, on the shoulder. As oh. you all come forward atop a slight rise away from the rest of the village, against the roots of the pillar stone that seems to support Castle Ravenloft off in the distance, Thank stands you. a gray sagging edifice of stone and wood. This church has weathered the assaults of evil for centuries on end and is worn and weary. A bell tower rises toward the back, and flickering light shines through holes in the shingled roof. The rafters strain rather feebly and sag against their load. As you walk up, you see the heavy wooden doors of the church are covered with claw marks and scarred by fire. Oh. Come on in, Il. Can you I... Can I uh, roll for Arcana and try to feel for a holy aura inside someone like inside the building like i, I try to with the fourth uh, feel out religion. the priest if i can be a religion check not an oh, so religion. oh because magic but okay uh religion uh, a 12 not bad not good well not great you sense a little bit of holiness here but whatever used to be once here in grandeur and glory has long since faded, much like the youth has left a young child, lefting, leaving him a broken, weary man. Okay. It feels like this crown may not be sacred any longer. I would like to be careful and be ready to pull out my weapons. I, I am knocking. Be right back. Take it up. You can you uh, knock. I need to uh, uh, politely, yes, why not? Wait, should I just come in this time? Yeah, I mean, mean is the door closed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The doors are closed. Churches are public areas. Churches are yeah. Okay, I'm opening the door carefully, standing to the side and just peeking into it in case there is a zombie jumping out of it or something. Like Valos. What's your last time. Uh, vision range again? Vision range? Uh, one moment. I'm a normal human. Wait, where do I see that again? I think it's what, 60 feet? He doesn't. Uh, I don't think he'll has that vision. I'm, mm -hmm. I just, I'm just a normal human. Vision. I have normal eyes. Uh, I, uh, I don't know, where do I see that again? It is brightly lit. That's why I'm asking. Okay. okay. Then probably 60 feet, yeah. I believe it is 60 feet by standard. So, where was the... Let me see, I'm just double checking. Yes, Too ready. yeah, maybe. As you open the door... Excuse me. As you open the door and look in, you see a 10-foot wide, 20-foot long hall leading to a brightly lit chapel. The uh, that's a good sign. The itself is mostly unlit and reeks of mildew. What's Four it? doors, two on each side of the hall, lead to adjacent chambers. Okay. You can see that the chapel is strewn with debris, and you hear a soft voice from within reciting a prayer up ahead. You see a man bent over an altar, praying, but as you hear him and see him praying, 
You hear an inhuman scream rise up from beneath the wooden floor, pleading over and over again. Ah. Uh, okay, people, I have mixed news. Uh, first, I think you that's hear, good. You hear a young man's voice cry out, Father, I'm starving. Yeah, we may have good and bad news. Good news, I think, uh, the priest seems to be alive and praying. The bad news is I hear a young man underneath the floor crying for help and asking for food and calling him father. Okay, well, that young man may be a trap. But maybe... Do I just something... enter and say hello, or do I just get closer first and then say hello? Uh, I mean, you're the cleric, and he's uh, a cleric. Maybe you no have a clerical talk? Oh, I have the vestments. If you want, I can take uh, put on the vestments. So long as you don't change in front of me. <laughs> Just put them over your armor, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, yeah why yeah. not? Just don't strip in front of me, then you're okay. Okay, okay. Uh, do I have time to put on the vestments? I mean, you, it doesn't take the longer work than what. Okay. I'm good to go. Kiki will even, Kiki will help you too. <laughs> Just put them on. Uh, okay. I don't, I barely Roll know those spikes. She's good with her hands. She's a monk. <laughs> oh, is she? Mm -hmm. she's, oh, a monk. she's a monk and a former gladiator. Well, I am entering. I, I, I guessed that, but I did know you are a monk monk. <laughs> you can hear the screaming coming off from your right side. It's pleading now for father. Please let me out. I haven't eaten in so long. Please. It may be a trap. It may be actually someone. I don't know. Maybe it's a Wendigo. I'm approaching closer and I would like to roll for perception for anything unusual. And look around. If I can, I don't know. What are may you I? doing? I'm just trying to roll for perception. Yes, yep. please. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Hm, not bad. Besides the fact that the inside of the church looks fairly destroyed from what you can <coughs> see from the hallway, yes. and everything looks worn down and not very well taken care of, this place seems less destroyed than most places within the village. Is, does Donovich still look like a human, or is it a zombie? You would have to get closer for that. Okay, I'm getting closer carefully. Nothing happens? Okay. You have to be close to that, please. <laughs> I would like to get closer carefully and listen just through just the door. Just in case. If you're listening through the door, give me a perception roll. You hear nothing. Nothing besides the prayer of the man in front of you and the screaming of the young man behind you. Can I listen to the prayer, what he's praying about? You'd have to get closer for that. Okay, I would like to carefully look around the corner. Before I enter further. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, okay. The chapel itself is brightly lit, but... One sec. The chapel is in shambles, with over and broken pews littering the dusty floor. Dozens of candles mounted in candlesticks and candelabras on the ceiling light every dusty corner in a fervent attempt to rid the chapel of shadows. At the far end of the church sits a claw scarred altar, behind which kneels a priest in soiled vestments. Next to him is 
A long, thick rope that stretches up to the bell tower. Yep. Forgot to move it. There we go. Ah. Okay. As, as he's going in, uh, me is going to whisper to Kiki. Might want to follow him. Well, yeah, that would take a lot of time to repair everything with mending. What a I don't devilish want to puzzle. The <laughs> okay, I would Let's like to. Dave, what are you doing, Derek? Uh, keeping an eye on a resident idiot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I would like to carefully say hello and wave my hands. He is not facing towards you. I saw his face. I would like to say hello a little bit louder. He still is not moving from his prayers. Okay. I would like to get closer and maybe check for I'll be traps. Right back. Okay, give me a perception roll. We haven't found a trap yet, by the way. Oh. Maybe, I don't know, there is a garlic trap steak shooting thingy with trip fire. As far as you can tell, there's nothing. Ah, okay. Then I would like to enter this room. Say hello again. Carefully, not to spook him. Did nothing? He's nothing. Okay. The scream is coming from the right room? It'll be coming down if you go down and right from this room. Okay. I'm approaching close and saying Praise be God again. I say hello. Would give me a religion check to see if you know which god to praise to. You can see the icons all around. Eh. Uh, what a disappointment. You can tell, considering you are holding a mace in his image, this is a chapel dedicated to the Morning Lord Lathander. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I mean, because you mentioned that those two gods earlier, the Thunder and the Night Goddess. The thunder's blessing be upon thee, father. Donovich looks up and sees you in your armor and vestments with your glowing sunrise-shaped hammer and what seems to be a glimmer of hope almost crosses into his face. Hey! Okay. He looks at you stops his prayers and asks, Oh, uh, uh, hello, brother. Well, may I ask what it is you're doing here? <clears throat> well, good evening to you too, my good man. Uh, I am Il. I'm a live cleric who recently arrived in Bavaria. On purpose, may I mention? And, uh... We are checking in on you because the townspeople seem to be, the surviving ones, seem to be uh, slightly worried about your absence for a week or so. The last time they checked in with him was a week ago. Yes. But it seems you are still alive. Right? Yes, I am still very much alive. Thanks oh, okay, to the not great God. Corpse, and I have been here praying for a way to save my boy. Please don't mind uh, my spiky armor. It's my working attire for I am an adventurer. And, uh... May I ask you about the yelling back there? That is my son, Noru. A son? year ago. Yes. Son, son? Or, like... As apprentice son, like your father, his son, or purple not like my actual son. Ah, he okay. Was little over twenty years old, a little more than a year ago, him and several other villagers stormed the castle. They'd been oh. lured there by a wizard in black robes. Oh. And by all accounts, the wizard died, and so did my son, who returned here as 
the spawn of that damnable devil. I was oh. able to keep my son in the Undercroft, but I've prayed to my god all I can. <laughs> they, they won't answer me. I haven't... <laughs> oh. I just want a way to save my boy. Yeah, about that, I can't get a stable connection to mine neither. I assume it has something to do with the curse. Uh, lagging the this curse land. of the devil is yes. part of the land itself. Okay. If he does not allow it, it won't happen. Yes. Uh, quick. Uh, you said your son is dead and is now here returned as a devil spawn. Yes. I may have to mention that uh, to my party members before they do anything stupid. I'll be right back. God be with you. And also with you, brother. Thank you. Uh, hello, Derek, people. Are Don't... you going to do anything while he's gone outside to talk with the rest of the party? Uh, I'm relaying the info to you, people. We'll investigate these doors. All right, which one? Uh oh. Uh, let's start with the one closest to me right now. That one. Yeah, so people, we have an undead inside. You're just gonna open it up. And a bishop. Hmm. Not locked. Not locked. It's just a simple wooden door. I'll open it. As you look around, you can see a dirty room that contains a wooden bed with a straw-filled mattress. Next to a, next to it is a small table with an oil lamp burning brightly. Mounted above the bed's headboard is a wooden sun-shaped holy symbol. This apparently seems to be the priest's room. Okay. I only close the door. Go across the hall. Da, da, da. The same. Oh, that's the drawing one. Not gonna have Derek disappear in the mess forever. Yours already sneaky enough. As you look in, an old desk and chair stand against the south wall, a wooden holy symbol mounted above them. A sunburst. There's a ten foot long iron rod attached to the north wall there, and it stands bare, suggesting a tapestry once hung there. Against yes, the far wall stands a wooden cabinet with four tall doors. Let's see. This seems to be an office. Hmm. Hey, crack the bottom right door. No. You're going there? No. <laughs> I'm telling you all this information. <laughs> And that this, <laughs> hey, I'm not going to let Whoa. you open the door. There's yeah. probably a vampire spawn inside. <laughs> Anything yeah, if you know it on the desk? Or zombie. As you look on the desk, there's an empty wooden pour box on the seat of the chair. Unfortunately, the desk drawers only contain a few bits of parchment, some quill pens, and dried up ink jars. Hmm. Anything to know in the cabinet? As you look inside, there's a tinder box, some wooden boxes full of candles, and two well-used books. Hymns to the Dawn, a volume of Chance to the Morning Lord, and another one that reads The Blade of Truth, the uses of logic in the war against Diabolist heresies as fought by the Ole Mist Inquisition. It's a strange book that seems to mix logic exercises with lurid descriptions of fiend-worshipping cults. No. Oh. Neither of an interest to me. Oh, I imagine while he's doing that, we're getting relayed all the information, essentially. Yep. Yes. You're essentially getting so, a recap of everything that got told earlier. Gotcha. So I'm assuming you're doing the same thing, Derek. Yeah. Sure. Best Derek. Reconnoitering. <laughs> Ooh. This is a dirty, lightless room. It contains a wooden bed with a straw-filled mattress and a mountain above the bed's headboard is a wooden holy symbol. If that other room must have been the priest, this must have been his son's room. I guess that leaves this one over here. As you look in, you realize that time and a collect have punched holes in the ceiling of this moldy room. It contains a few broken roof shingles and puddles of water. One corner set in the floor is a heavy wooden reinforced trap door held shut with a chain and a padlock. You can hear a young man sobbing and screaming through the door. 
Okay. It must be the turned one. Okay. As give me a perception check as you're looking in. I would like to get back to the father. Thirteen. As you look, you realize the trapdoor is actually swollen with all the water around it and stuck in the frame. So I, even if you manage to remove the chain and lock, you still have to break it open. Mm. Well, very noisy. Lot. Okay. Can I move now? Oh, yes. Okay. Before you go back in, I was going to say, I don't know if there's anything we could really do for his son then. You're saying he died and came back as a hellspawn? Yes, I would like to uh, <laughs> I don't, talk about you know. this for a moment. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'm not good with words. Well, uh, maybe it's not like that, you know? I mean, well, we heard what happens when people with souls die in here. I just There's asked how he ways. looked like first. Maybe he just survived and is actually not oh. a hell spot. That would be a yeah. rather cool twist. Well, you know, one of two ways. They go mad or you yeah. have to resurrect them. He's either alive, mad, or undead. Uh, Chris Scott, father. Uh, Please be, brother. About your son. Yes. How did he look like when he returned? He looked exactly like he was when he left, but this time he was overcome with a hunger and thirst for blood, and a deathly pallor to his face with red eyes. Oh. Are you not sure it can, wasn't just not much an illusion? Uh, jerk about with that, is there? <laughs> oh. Are, are you sure it wasn't just an illusion? I'm sure. With what little power I have left, I managed to get him into the Undercroft, but not before checking everything I thought I could to make sure it wasn't just a cruel trick at the devil's amusement. I think I can fix him. Uh, I, are you able to uh, create holy water, Father? Sadly, I'm not capable of such a holy okay. feat. I'm but a simple acolyte. Well, I have a lot of holy water with me. I could... Yeah, before we... We need to find out further info about his current state. Before we decide the final steps to deal with him. So, I take it that it would be nice... Wait a second. I should probably get back to uh, the guy that was asking about you and tell him that you are still alive. Who and ask him what he wanted me? from you, one, by the one way. One sec, Ravale. Yes? Who was asking for me? Uh, yeah. The son of the Major, I think. The Burgermeister's son. Ah, Ismark. And... How is the Burgermeister? Ah. I don't know. But do I know? You, wouldn't... you would. Ah, he told me, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, he is most definitely... You know that... You uh, know that he died three days ago and his okay, okay. son and daughter brought him here to be interred. Yeah, about that, he is most definitely, sadly, uh, dead. He passed oh. away three days ago. Between you and me, brother, yeah. Irina isn't the natural daughter of the Burgermeister. Though she does not know, he found her at the edge of the Spalish Woods near the Pillarstone of Ravenloft. She had apparently lost her memory, but the Burgermeister, with his great heart, adopted her and loved her dearly as his own child. It is disheartening to hear that such a man is gone now. Oh. Would you like me to keep it a secret, or...? Yes, please. Okay. She has already lost a father. It is no need to let her know that such a connection did not exist. I, mean, I only tell you exist. this in confidence in case something may happen. Okay, I won't say a word until the death and further beyond. Thank you, mother. Uh, may the light shine upon you. Thank you. Uh, would you like, just in case, to have a uh, tincture of holy water? I would.
You would not say no to such a war against the evil dark. Yes, fair enough. Uh, would you like a good berry? You seem kinda hungry. I don't know what the economic state of this country is. Uh, the fields the are probably plagued. Areas, the fields themselves are not even safe to walk. Yeah, I figured as much. How do you even survive here? The curse of Strahd, unfortunately, keeps those he wants to toy with alive, no matter what. Oh! I am no different in this regard. I am a man of the Morning Lord himself, and such a being is directly against the devil that rules this land. Oh! I fear he may have turned my son and sent him back as a way to torment me for his amusement. Yeah, and we he have is not wrong to figure that out. Okay, so you are not hungry? Uh, unfortunately, no. Okay, I thank I'll you all the same, though, brother. Keep the good berries in. Uh, take the w one flask of holy water. Alrighty. He's if you set want. that onto the altar. Yes. Uh. So. He is, after you letting him know that Ismark and Irene are outside waiting to inter their father, he's going to follow you out to do such ritual rites yes, and okay. get everything going. Oh, by the way, we heard that uh, there's apparently a danger about numbers here at midnight. What does that mean? Ah. As he, as you tell him this and he looks out, he stares straight at Ismark and looks slightly disappointed as he remarks to him. Are you the one telling people about the march? Oh. Ismark up his hands and goes, for once, I'm not the asshole here. So no, I've told them pretty much about all else that's happened around here, but no, I'm not going to go around remarking about the dead poorly. Oh. Kiki just looks over at Donovich, says, guy runs the general store. Ah, that gentleman. I shall not speak ill of any of my sheep, but some do test the patience. Oh, I know what mother. you mean, Father. I know what you He's mean. A... One of those sheep is currently sleeping in my carriage. I'm protected, <laughs> it seems. <laughs> I'm just saying, Mina's should... going to look over, slowly creeping over his shoulder into his view, just glaring at him. <laughs> and she tugs at his ear a little bit. Excuse me, mister, I'm going to act like a freaking idiot. I'm talking about Venus, not you. Calm down. Uh, uh, hello. All right. You While you're you. doing this, Donovich is going to head over and in a surprising show of strength is going to lift the Burgermeister's coffin over one shoulder with a single arm. Wow. I am ready to give your father his last proper rites. Oh, I can do that May. too. <laughs> I can only hope his rest is not disturbed. And with that, we're going to do a little time skip here. Donovich, Ismark, and Irina are going to head out to the cemetery and properly inter their father. We'll see. Yeah, it's going to of... also join. Can I assist? In Ismark is going to ask that you. Uh, Stay out of this family affair, and thanks you for your worry. But okay, fair enough. This, this is a Mark family affair. Take the holy water, just in fair case. Enough. We're going to do both a time of skip you here. a bottle of holy water. One sec. We're going to do a bit of a time skip here, so they can do a proper funeral. Yes. They are going to come back. Donovich is going to head back inside and clean up a little bit. Ismark and Arena are going to follow him in. And they are going to bed for the night here and here, since the priest has offered them some respite to stay. And Revale, from where you are, as he passes you, he asks that you and your fellow adventurers come in and chat with him for a moment. Can I bring the horses inside? And the Valos? horses are they're safe outside in the carriage out here. I will draw a little circle. Oh, oh the thank you. Carriages. They are safe in there as the doors are barred from the inside and the carriage itself, carriage shed itself, is not damaged in any way, shape, or form. 
There's oh, plenty thank of hay you. And That's stuff for actually very nice of you. I don't want them pooping in here either. We, yeah. <laughs> I don't know there's how the windows are. I mean, I if would you have... all walk in, you notice the mess of the pews has been moved yeah. to the side and swept aside as best as he can. For once, his son's crying is slightly muted as if he's can become exhausted for the day. He is going to look at you and your party and he is going to put his hands together in prayer and thank you for bringing our dear friend to be properly interred in the graveyard, but he does have a favor to ask. Okay. He's I would going like to, to ask you... I would like to Go ask ahead. the group first if uh, David is with Valus. Nobody knows. Nobody's looking. <laughs> exactly. What if he wakes up in a uh, tight... Everyone except uh, Derek, give me a perception check now. And Derek, give me your stealth. <laughs> 27. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not even going to try to roll. <laughs> That's a nope. That's a nope. What about you, Rivali? Uh, what am I? Perception, yes? Yes. <laughs> oh, 16. None of you have any idea where Derrett is. <laughs> and he's right yeah, behind I you. Yeah, I thought as much because I don't see him. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. <laughs> None of you have Sorry, any heard idea. that Derrett's around somewhere. And that's what? it. Father Donovich uh, is going to ask you all, since he saw that you have a carriage, to help take Irina and Ismark far away from here, and as far away from Castle Ravenloft as possible. He oh. asks that you either that you take her to the Abbey of St. Markovia in Kresk, and if you, you can't do that, to take them to the fortified town of Valaki. St. What was that? I'm sorry. He's either... He's going to ask that you take them to the Abbey of St. Markovia in Kresk, K-R-E-Z-K. It's, there's a lot of weird spellings. I'm going to warn yeah. you. <laughs> All right. Or well, yeah. the town of Valaki, V-A-L-L-A-K-I. Valaki. Okay. As far as Father Donovich is concerned... He has unfortunately failed his flock here in Bargovia, and the best he can do is keep this small sanctuary alive as he tries to find a way to help his son and tries to save what few souls he can in the village. Yeah, about the son. We need to uh, diagnose his state before we determine further actions. Rivale, yes. what do you know about vampirism? Give me an intelligence check. Well, at first I would like to know if he's actually infected or if he's just... Well, if it's just an That's illusion. That's why an intelligence check would yeah. be helping you with. <laughs> uh, you, you would need to know how a vampire spawn is created in the first place. Oh, a yeah. 15, 17, let's go. Through a uh, bite, I assume. And through death, You know eventually. that vampire spawn are created when a true-blooded vampire takes someone and injects their blood into them in a fashion. You, um, however, do not know the method or delivery way, nor how a vampire spawn is truly created in the first place. Uh -oh. You know the initial basic steps, but you would need more research. Maybe he was seduced. But as it is now winding down for the night, Everybody give me a perception check. Uh, that's a Ah, oh, come on. Uh, 11. 13. 20. As it becomes close to midnight, as you're all getting prepared for the night, you see an unearthly green glow coming from the graveyard. You see the father bow his head in prayer and sadly go up to one of the windows and you can hear him faintly muttering prayers to the souls of the dead. I would like to get closer to him. You're not and... going to see what the green glow is? What? Coming from the graveyard. Uh oh. 
Uh, uh, where's the graveyard at? The graveyard is right below, or right behind. Uh, you see where okay. top of yep. there? Can I look through yes. this yep, window yep. and ask the you father can. what is happening? The father does not answer you and simply continues muttering prayers for the past and deceased in hopes that they find the light of the morning lord and suffer no more. Min is going to take a look out and then after that she's going to bow. I'm going to assume that everybody's looking outside a window. Carefully. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna check. Is the door behind us like closed and shit <laughs> to the main entrance? It is not. Would you like to? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say if nobody's gonna shut the door, you're gonna have problems. Yeah, it's not making gonna sure be that green is glow. <laughs> yeah, tightly closed. Maybe if yeah. there's a bar there, maybe we bar it too. There is a bar. We should okay. have left it no to Valus. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's right. <laughs> the uh, door to the carriage is locked from the inside with a similar system. Just a bar across the door. Uh-huh, and Valos is inside, waking up inside the carriage, no, not knowing where he is inside a barn, like, I don't know, a sec- two-layered coffin, basically, and outside he just hears hell. Well, Werewolf, he zombies, is schools, he's vampires. Aware of what's going on. But I think he thrives in chaos anyway. Go but ahead. as you uh, go to shut the door, Kiki, you'll also see this. The, as they pass by, an eerie green light suffuses the graveyard. From this light emerges a ghostly procession. Wavering images of strong warriors toting great swords, woodwise men with slender bows, dwarves with glittering axes, and archaically dressed mages with beards and strange pointed hats. All these and more march forth from the graveyard, their numbers growing into the hundreds by the second. As you all watch, you realize these... These are not basic undead out to harm the living. Yeah. These are all previous adventurers who died trying to destroy Strahd. And as you watch them, they march further into the valley as if trying to complete their failed mission. And from what you know, they've been doing this every night at midnight. Strength in numbers makes a lot more sense now. Why did no one the build the corpses? <laughs> yep. And this is not like stretched throughout time. This was all at once. Yep. I'm pretty sure I cannot flashback them yet. <laughs> but you are all in a semi-safe area. What? You all <laughs> You're never truly safe in Barovia. Fair enough. <laughs> but that would probably be a good place to end this. No. Yep. Yeah. Yes. It has been only three hours and twelve minutes. Yeah, and people have bedtime shortly. No, <laughs> it's midnight, that's why, man. That's why I'm cutting it at uh, three hours instead of our usual four to five. Thank God. Thank you so much. Because that, that ruins me for Sunday. <laughs> yep. I have homework but, to complete, too. <laughs> yes. Oh. I'm keeping that in mind. My condolences. Thank you. <laughs> Say, if you guys don't cut it, I will. Even if I have to leave you in a very unsafe position, I won't fuck you over. Thank we got you. that door closed. So we're okay. <laughs> yep. You actually remember to do that. <laughs> I just assumed everyone closed the door behind him. Do not assume. Like I said, Keep, I'm not going to be handholding. Yeah. Yeah. The, the thing is, like, Domino is kind of like an idiot. Kiki is under the uh, stone cold impression of DTA. Don't trust anybody. <laughs> Check it yourself. Trust, but verify. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. You better learn that slogan because you're going to be using it every five feet you move. <laughs> mm-hmm. I trust nothing. I don't even trust these guys we're with, to be honest with you. Boop. Especially there what I know go. about Irina. So, but I take it that those undead are evil? They are no. not evil. Nope. They are essentially... They're going to be us. the final regret <laughs> of every adventurer that came together at once to try and kill Strahd, but still failed. Oh. So, essentially... essentially just a walking monument. Sam, that's death. not that's death. us if we fail. <laughs> yep. If you aren't uh, turned into part of the procession, Strahd will finally certainly find a use for you as a new spawn. Hmm. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, so clear, come with clear heads and uh, a game. <laughs> they are not oh, undead. Yeah. Okay. They are, as you know from before in your research, they are essentially tortured souls. Uh, and more than likely, Strahd has made this event just so, to hit home to any new adventurers how hopeless their situation is yep. for his entertainment. They are just visuals. Okay. Wait, do we have the king of uh, Minas Tirith? Nope. Wait, who was Aragorn again? What are you trying to ask? Green ghosts. The green ghosts? Uh -huh. He's talking about the freaking the, the, the that one king that refused uh -huh. to aid. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the from the Lord of the Rings. Okay, I remember now. But yeah, no. maybe we could talk to them. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Follow no, me, the, and you shall be the beast. <laughs> Just knock, knock in this pattern. If it's really you, if you manage to come back, we'll bar the door behind you. Yes. I'm not going to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> we should have put Vados and the horses in. I don't know if. It's Especially for us. But yeah, hey, thank you for, for you enjoying it so far. Yeah, thank you for like uh, caring for Vados and the horses in some way. Yes, I know he's <laughs> probably dead asleep, which is good. Yes, <laughs> I hope. I don't know what he did, but he is very tired. Yeah, it's been it's been one of those weeks and days, I guess. It's about the best way I can put it. Yeah. But all of you need sleep. Some of you got homework. Some of you just need fucking sleep. <laughs> I can't sleep. My bed is That's about uh, 25 minutes. So. My bed is yeah. next by the kitty. I cannot sleep. <laughs> Gotta sleep, Necro. I can't. But... I'm not a Necro. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> I'm night, a priest. Have a good night. Thanks for DMing. Thanks for playing. I'm enjoying it so far. And but, it's hey, not thank a you face. so much. I will see you all next week for our next session then. Thank you for today. It was fun. I'm excited for next week. At some point, I will talk to you about a possible... Character swap? Character swap, yeah. Alrighty. Just go ahead and DM me that later, because I'll be up for a little bit longer, since I don't work until much later in the day. Well, I don't think me will... Well, Minotech can't technically leave, but maybe... I had an idea maybe she could help around the area in her own little way. Sure. If nothing else, I could just have the fog take Mina. No! <laughs> no, was I you, don't was want it, her to go bye-bye. What was it you last session who was like, I'm willing to kill my character for a new character? Not Didn't you no, say that? I wasn't willing to I kill know. Mina. I, I know. <laughs> you said something like that. I know you were joking, but I'm just rubbing it in. <laughs> No. All of you go to bed. Yeah, is one of my characters <laughs> Good night. I want to kind of Good night. keep an eye on. <laughs> I have a question about... Oh. You Good left. night. <laughs> I was going to ask about the two people if they took the holy thingy or not. Oh, yeah. And everyone just left. Good night, I guess. Yeah, okay. Well then. Um. <clears throat> yeah, peoples and gentlemen. Uh, that was it for today. It was fun. <laughs> I did oopsie. Uh, but yeah, Bovaria, the land of the cursed devil, uh, vampires. Yeah, I take it that there is a lot of loot to get. Anyway, okay. Um, yeah, goodbye, people. I'm gonna ask the DM quickly about uh, the holy water, and uh, that shall be it for today. Until next weekend, thank you for being here. Enjoy the VOD, and uh, goodbye. I try to, I don't know, spend some time here somehow because my bed is currently occupied. Bye.